Video equipment rental costs paid for by peep code screencasts. So what's Ruby doing in a Java IDE like NetBeans? Lots. Uh, claim of an IDE is integrated development environment. This is you know, everything that a developer needs to do that can be done within the environment. That's the claim, or at least the goal. Um, net, you know, short story is, is NetBeans does a quite good job at it. And I keep, part of it is, is I go outside of it and then I discover, oh, that is available in there. I just didn't know about it. In fact, I discovered a few things about it just as I was working here. Um, back in February, I started looking for a faster way to develop, and um, my you know, minimum requirements for an IDE is that I can you know, create files, all of the text files. I don't need a graphics editor because I'm not an artist. Um, <clears throat> I can you know, update them, edit them, edit them. Syntax, coloring, or highlighting I find really nice. I might be willing to give it up if there were a lot of other reasons, but I really like it. When I first found it, oh yeah, it's IKEA. Yeah, it's kind of pretty. And after a few years of using it, it says, ooh, black and white, that's kind of anemic and slow. So syntax coloring I like. And in fact, NetBeans takes syntax coloring to the uh, next step very consistently and very logically. Um, other things, you know, compile, build, and run, or whatever your language requires. There's debugging and there's version control support. Um, I won't hire a uh, employee, a programmer who doesn't use version control. I'm sure not going to hire an IDE that doesn't have version control support. So, NetBeans certainly meets those minimum requirements, and it goes a bit more. I'm not going to cover those minimum requirements. You can look at the flyer, you can go and use it. What I'm going to cover is the things that I found I didn't expect, the pleasant surprises. And I'm going to cover four. Um, change highlighting. Like syntax highlighting, this is change highlighting. I like it. Um, it helps me go faster. Um, so what I'm calling incremental or local undo and redo. And um, autocomplete and um, the API, you know, to the documentation of the API, and they're sort of bound up together, and I'll cover them together in testing support. Okay, let's go to the <coughs> real thing. Um, oh, I want to plug, stick in the, you know, the bibliography or the links to resources here, so it doesn't get pushed off the end. NetBeans.org is the website for that. Go there to get tutorials. There's a bunch of them general purpose, and at least six Ruby or Rails specific ones. Um, there's, uh, like I said, there's flyers out front on it. Nice, pretty two-sided two color, glossy, um, and no mention of Ruby or Rails. Ruby and Rails support is in beta, but I'm using it for production work. I don't have any major complaints about it. Um, it was introduced in 6.0. They're now up to 6.1. Go and get 6.1 with the Ruby Rails bundle. You know, it's a nice bundle, one download, install it, it went in cleanly. It takes a little bit of time to catalog stuff, but once it's cataloged, it, you know, it pops up fast. Um, and, oh, yeah, those are those plugs. Okay, change highlighting. This is the edit window, and that blue bar on the left says that these is, is it blue? Yes, blue. It's modified. The, the green down here says this is a new line. There's also pink, which I'll show briefly, is where lines were deleted. And those colors are consistent across several different views. And in fact, I discovered modified files are blue, new files are green. And there isn't any delete support, you know, yet, but I expect, you know, Maybe the little ghost will be there in pink when that happens. Now, they're nice visual cues, but they're more than just visual cues. If I hover over it, it'll tell me, you know, what it used to be. And in fact, if I click it, it will show me what it used to be. And I can navigate down to the next change, or this is what I'm calling local undo. because the, the, the undo and redo buttons up here are chronological. 
but these are local. Now, another thing I just discovered that's a slick thing is what was that, that raise, I turned it into an if because it's no longer, I figured out it's no longer a fatal condition. And of course, you know, there's if this condition, you know, zero, else, and then a bunch of code. Well, that code has been indented. But it's, it doesn't clutter up saying this has been modified. All of it, the only modification has been indented. Smart. Okay, let's cruise on down through modifications. Just pop through them. Ah, and each time it's showing me what used to be there. Now we're at a delete. If you just look over here, there's a little pink arrow that says there's a delete here. And in fact, it'll tell you how many lines that are deleted um, in the tooltip, you know, and it'll show you what used to be there. It's too big, so we'll scroll down. And, you know, I could put it back in. I could, you know, incrementally undo it. Nice. Um, now that's the sort of on the ground level over here on the right. You again have blue and green and pink bars, which says, you know, there are modifications, deletions, insertions there. A little black line here with a circle through it says the current line. Now, one of the things I like about this is NetBeans is exploration friendly. There are a lot of these tool tips. And just, what does this do? Ah, build main project. What does this do? Run main project. Okay, cool. Um, so you have this, you know, change highlighting. It's, you know, it's eye candy, it's visual cues that make things go faster, and in fact, and then it, it hooks into something real. It's not just visual. It's, you know, sort of not just read-only. You can use it to ch actually change the file. Okay. Um, there's two other colors, red, syntax errors. Um, and in fact, up here, this little square is green now. If I stick in a syntax error, just put in an extra N, it'll turn red, and the red line down here shows where it was detected. So, same, you know, and the other is a sort of a yellow line. These are Ruby and, you know, Rails style hints, language hints, useful. Okay. Um, the other thing is, is when you've got a file with a lot of changes in it <clears throat> and you want to look at, you know, sort of side by side, what's the old and the new? Well, there's the traditional, you know, side by side diff, but it has a, you know, a little bit elegant thing. It's what I call rubber banding diffs. To keep the unchanged lines in sync, it rubber bands the changes. Of course, you know, blue there is modification, green is an insertion, and again, I've got little things that will undo that change. The remove and insertion down here, I have you know, essentially replaced the original with a modification. And again, you know, where, and if I can click here on the pink um, deletion, I can undo it. Now, up here in the middle, there's an arrow. Watch out for that. <clears throat> it undoes everything. Um, and it, unfortunately, it does not have a, a tooltip. It says, oh, I wonder what this does. Ooh, that didn't want to do that. Well, thank goodness for undo. Um, 40 seconds? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, okay. Um, test support, it's got, um, you can run the whole test suite. You can run individuals, you know, through running rake tests, rake test units, rake spec, modules, so on. The other thing is, oh, there's, there's the generators too, so you can do migrations. Um, auto completion. When I hit the end, it sticks in the closing. Same thing for quotes, um, interpolation in strings. And it's tied into, um, I type in a class name and it shows me, or a method name, and it shows me all the possible completions. Okay, so while the you're running up, when can you start coming up? 
the gray ones are it, ones that is inherited. The black ones are ones that are actually in the class. So there's the dynamic finders that Rails itself sticks in. Here's mine. And you know it will show the comment that's right in front of it. And um, OK, I can return. It will stick it in with a template. I can any method name, highlight it, control B, it'll go to the definition of it. All right. I like it. Thank you. OK. Video equipment rental costs paid for by Peepcode Screencasts.